In this video, I'm gonna show you the three steps I followed to start my software company. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will know everything you need to go from an idea to a business. And by the way, these are the steps that I followed. And hopefully as time goes on, these ideas get better and better. Now, the first thing I did to start a software company was the idea. And a business or software idea has three main aspects. Those things are the what, the need, and acceptance. So obviously the first thing we need is the actual business idea. And the what in my software company was a coding platform. I wanted to build a platform where people could come, could code, and have fun in a modern sort of feel to coding. And once I had the business idea, the next step was to look at what I was solving. I've been doing business for almost three years now, and I constantly realize that business is more about problems and solving those problems rather than making money and just making stuff. The problem I am solving is people struggling to learn code. That is the main pain and understanding pain and finding a way to solve it is how almost every entrepreneur gets rich and what I'm trying to do. And the third step of the idea generation is acceptance. This one took me two years to learn, but simply accepting that your idea is not the best and just focusing on execution is critical. I can't tell you the amount of days, weeks, and months I have spent sitting at my desk thinking of the perfect idea for a software company that would make me a billion dollars. Instead, what you should do and what I did was just pick an idea that you can solve, maybe something in your life, build that software, and leave it at that. And by focusing on the execution part, which is like, you know, creating the software and trying to make it the best you can be, you are more likely to make more money and have more customers compared to the person that's constantly overthinking things. And part of me thinks that's why coders have such a bad stereotype in the business space where like they're really bad. It's because we overthink too much. So maybe turn off your mind for a bit, focus on just building something and hopefully providing value. The next step I follow to start a company is the creation phase. This is where 99% of developers like myself will fail. Anyone can have an idea, but not anyone can spend two to five months building the product. And in my case, like the coding platform I was building, it actually started out as a job finder application like four months ago. And somewhere along the line, maybe like a month in, I realized that I didn't really want that. So I switched business ideas. And now I've been like on this sort of business for like three months. And why I say most people will fail here like I did in my previous businesses is that you will not see results for four or five months. No money, no customers, no motivation from like customers coming in and telling you how good your product is. And oftentimes this is regarded as the like desert of entrepreneurship because you're alone building something. And what I did to kind of get over this creation phase and what I'm at the tail of doing right now is to try to release a product as fast as possible. This is also regarded as like an MVP. You've probably heard of that. But in simple terms, rather than trying to spend like eight, nine months on building the perfect software product, by simply focusing on the main features that matter, getting validation on that business idea and then going to finish the product is the best possible thing. And what I did was build a very basic version of the app and I just let people see it. That was maybe two months into the software company. And by focusing on the things that matter, you'll finish the product faster, you'll get validated on the idea because you finished something, and then hopefully you can deploy it and release the product. And the final thing I followed to start my company is marketing and sales. Many coders who start businesses are coders first and then entrepreneurs versus what they should be, which is entrepreneurs first and then coders. And two absolutely essential aspects of business and just entrepreneurship in general is marketing and sales. And very easily, marketing is the process of letting people know what your product is and sales is the process of getting people to buy your stuff. And I don't care what you say, if people don't know that your product exists, it could cure freaking cancer for God's sake, they will not buy your product because they don't know. And a very easy way to market your product and sell people your stuff is through social media. And frankly, not many of us have the money to spend thousands of dollars on paid advertising. And by simply posting on social media on the topic of your business will get people to have eyeballs on you and your product and hopefully buy your thing. And on the other hand, sales is a little bit easier on software because you can just write text on a screen and then people go to your product and they see what's available. But essentially all you want to do is let people know that they can buy your product through marketing and then have a page where they can buy your product. And in my case, I'm using a sales page where I describe the product, what's inside the product and a way to purchase the item. So again, the three steps to starting a software company is the idea, the creation, 
and then the marketing and sales of the product. Again, I'm still improving as an entrepreneur and as a YouTuber, and, but this is what has worked for me and what I hopefully will continue to use for years to come. And by the way, if you wanna join our self-taught developer Discord group, then I'll leave that somewhere in the description below. It has everything from fun discussions, job opportunities, open source projects, and basically everything you need to have a community of developers if you wanna go down like the job route and the entrepreneurial route. And I'll also leave the free web developer roadmap down below. Happy coding. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.